Welcome to Scrapbooking Beautiful Layouts by Locky Creations. Hey friends, it's Locky Creations back with a three-month journal update. But first, I have to share my journaling testimony with you. So stay tuned. I want to know what you're supposed to use those trackers for. So what I use th those type of trackers for is priorities. So for the month, I wrote down like things that are priority. So the top level things are things that I want to do more of or spend more time doing high priority. Okay. Well, then the bottom I want to, these are things that um, I want to do less of, less staying up late, um, less negative thoughts, um, less worrying less shopping. Lord knows I don't need to shop no more. <laughs> you can see kind of how setting your priorities from the things that you want to do more to how did I achieve that. Then there are things I spent too much time on. Negative thoughts, worrying, staying up late. And this was truly mind-blowing. I'm sharing this because this is a devotional now. We, we've gotten into like um, scripture, praise and worship time here, testimony time here because the light bulb came on when I put this all in perspective like this well, I'm spending more time on negative thoughts and worrying and staying up late, but I'm praying less. Therefore, I'm tired. I'm not cleaning enough. I, like It just like it cause and effect, right? It, the light bulb came on and I'm like, what? Here I am. I'm spending all this time worrying and negative thoughts, not sleeping, which caused me to be lazy, not cleaning enough like I want to, not saving. All this is worry. All this is fear that things that God has said that if I just put my trust and my faith in him, that he will supply all my needs. And here I am doing all this worrying and it's affecting my sleep habits and, but I'm praying less. I'm back friends, but I just had to get that off of my chest. Give thanks to the Lord for allowing me to use this journal as a tool to help me with my self-care. The Bible says in Psalms 107 2, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble. And he has redeemed me from trouble through my journaling experience. So I'm very happy to report at my three month mark that my journaling experience is evolved and become something so great. So let's get into this three month chair. So here is my journal. Look, you can see from the last time I brought my journaling experience to you for the 2023 year, I had just had a blank journal. I was kind of frustrated because it was going just so slow and getting this thing set up, but I am very happy to report. Look, I have a very full plump journal. So I, you can see how thick this thing is already just the first three months of the year. So this is my journaling experience from January through March. And I'm just going to do a quick share. Uh, again, just to recap, I created this journal using the Happy Planner disc. And I've changed these discs out now three times because this book has gotten so thick. <laughs> so I, I may have to split this into two books. But yeah, I'm loving this. I added this cute little charm that I'm going to show you. And yeah, I remember I took the book, The Trader's Ruin, and I created this cover uh, with that book cover as well as some laminating sheets. And I created this journal. Now, so here's how I decorated the inside of my journal. But first, look at that cute little custom hang that I made. I love bling and I love purple. So, of course, my journal tag or little charm if you will is going to be bling and it's purple and gold and again it's majestic it's a biblical color it is my favorite color so I love everything purple so just of course I had to add uh, some bling into my little uh, planner hang charm if you will and I did make this little charm using some leftover like acetate sheet from some old packaging. And I got, and this is this kind of packaging, so keep some of that because you can use that stuff to make these. Um, I actually use that to mimic the one that I have had in past Happy Planners. I actually made my daughter a matching one so that her and I could both have matching charms in our journal. So I needed to make me one. So I use uh, a little grommet plier set that I had purchased from Harbor Freight and Tools. This one here, 
that comes with the little tool and purchased that for like around three, four bucks. It was on sale, so a good deal for that. But that's what I used to punch the little hole in my little grommet slot. Um, this was the original journal that I, when I showed you last, it was kind of plain, but I used this one for my prayer and devotional. And you can see that I am, am keeping all of those separate because this one is my Bible study journey, journey, uh, excuse me, journal. So I also added a cute little hang, little charm here. Like you can see, just want to show you that too. So yeah, I'm actually journaling. I got several journals. So here's how I decorated the inside of my journal. I just took some washi tape uh that i got from pink fresh studios this is the anemone magic and so this is my january or month one uh set so you can see i have those purple those florals added some little dollar tree heart ribbon and i thought that was very cute so for each month i have that little calendar so when i first left you in my last video i had done this page this was the only page that i had done in january my journal was all about self-care right so just going to go through and just show you some of the features that I've added into my journal. I have little notes and devotionals that I have wrote to myself. This was a little quote from Mia Angelo, my Angelo, excuse me. Um, I write myself little notes. If there's something personal or private, I write it inside this little sheet of paper and I fold it and I write private or personal on there. Now, it's nothing personal that anyone who reads my journal will get and see something that I don't want them to see. If it's something too personal, obviously I'm not going to write it down, but I may be venting or I may have some thoughts on a situation. So that I want to keep inside my journal, but I don't want that to be the first thing on display if somebody picks this up. So I'll tend to fold that paper and just put it inside my journal as just a little private moment. So yes, I'm just flipping through. I have a lot of writing. I use my HP Sprocket little two by three photo printer to add pictures. Um, I add some words for the month or words for the week. I was watching Lion King until I watched the, made a post about Lion King. So that was all my January. So February, each month again, I have these little calendars and I have some little embellishment on my tab i love this little valentine's theme that i did on the back of my february title cover just get some heart punches added some little stitching on there and added those little sequin danglies here you see i have some pictures uh i also have some more journaling i did some stamping um i did a lot of writing in this journal so this journal to me has not only become a journal of writing it's devotionals this was my february i have little valentine's messages to myself i used this cute little dollar tree card and added my picture i i added some dimensional magic um that hodgepodge modge podge dimensional magic to write just i love you on the inside of that card just to remind myself it's all about self-love right so Again, I made a little bookmark on Valentine's Day with the little quote uh, that I liked. And on the back of this envelope, I actually added some punched out hearts. I did my journaling in a white pen on the back of that red envelope. And yeah, I'd use that as like a little pocket also. So here's one that I did as kind of a junk mail piece. I got some junk mail and I this was my attempt to do something that was kind of... Um, vintage looking <laughs> so yeah you made that with junk mail I have little calendars in there so this is again this is a writing journal this is an art journal this is a bullet journal this is a planner tracker journal this is my everything journal and the point here is that for me my journal has really evolved into something that is self-care for me this is a opportunity for me to express myself and my feelings and the things that are important to me okay so i uh, february i did some stamping here and some stenciling this page is pretty creative here and again i just always add some space for writing because i do like to write a lot in my journal so you'll see a lot of writing pages and writing uh, type of entries here okay so my march up to march my march cover I added a little pocket and just some things I want to accomplish. So I want to start my scrapbooking journal 
a journey <laughs> and I hadn't really scrapbooked a lot up until that point so wrote myself a little reminder of scrapbook here I use some lace punch and these cute little glittery stickers just to do some white on white cute little art type of page simple art so you'll see art in my journal you'll see these little things like these little book tabs which I was giving praise about a situation that got some good news about here. And again, I just wanted to put that on the back of that bookmark. So again, ways to have things in your journal, but you may not want it to be just right up front. Here are some pictures of some activities that were done in spring break. I attempted to make a little shaker heart here, but I, it's kind of like a faux shaker. I actually uh, glued those little Dazzly's down, but more decoration. Here's a little cute little flip card photo album that I added within my journal on an event that my daughter and I attended while she was home from spring break. So I added some pictures and wrote a little cute uh, journal entry about that. I used some stencils here uh, on that page to the left. And then that little page on the right, again, it was a little moment that I was having that I was a private moment. So again, anytime as I write something that's quote private in my journal, it's not so private that someone who picks this up can't see it, but it may be that I was just, you know, venting about something. And so I want to keep it in my journal, but it doesn't have to be the first thing on display. Okay. So I might write private on there and I'll write, you know, if you, if you look, then you might see what you might see. <laughs> so again, this is another way that I can capture some journal entries and just kind of, if you don't want it to be on display, if someone's going to open your book, like they have to do some effort to go read what's back there. Nothing so personal that it can't be seen. I may just fold that page over like I've done here and just add a little sticker over it. Here, so I did a lot of these devotionals from some of my devotional books um, and, and uh, little scripture books. Um, this was just a hand, freehand uh, little thing that I did. Here's another envelope that I used to put in some scriptures, devotionals, affirmations um, that were really touching to me for the month. So I could add those into that little pocket. And here's more of kind of where some of the planner type things came in. I was really up to this point in the month. I was just really just a lot into my devotionals. And there's a certain song that I had in my head. So I want to capture um, as listening to that song. I did some doodling. Uh, here I have my scriptures for the week. I did a sleep tracker because I, I just really was not sleeping enough. You, you know, you heard in my earlier devotional or my testimony so here this i really like this little tracker i got these stencils from amazon where i can track how much sleep am i getting every night happy to report that by up to thursday i finally did get a full eight hours of sleep you won't see that on this video because <laughs> uh, but yeah here is just some little tracker that i use to jot down words for the week that touched me or describing how the week went. Um, and then I did a journal entry on the page on the right with just some decor on stickers and different uh, washi tape as well as just some pieces of paper. So I always, again, add lines for journaling. So this is another way that I could show some of my journaling and, and, and incorporate some art into it as well. So I have some blank pages here. Now this, I, this is my, <laughs> my tracker that I talked about. This thing right here gave me so much life. And I, I really discovered that I like tracking habits, but things that are important. And here was a more, I use this as more of a priority tracker. Like I talked about in the beginning, I just tracked with the higher, taller graphs, things that I want to do more of the smaller graphs, things I wanted to do less of and kind of the average things like everyday things that you do were in the middle. And so then I tracked how well I did for the month. So again, there are some things that I wanted to do more of that I didn't get around to doing. There are some things that I needed to do less that I did too much of. But seeing it in this visual like this and really having a visual of what I already kind of know, it just really kind of put the light bulb on and it, it helps me hold myself accountable to do better. So now I can set some 
actions and goals for myself for the upcoming month and then track how well I'm doing to be able to, you know, do better about some of the things that I want to make higher priority and then stop doing some of those crazy worry and not sleeping habits that I don't want to do. Okay. So kind of here's where we are up to this point. And I started using this little cute brother tab maker to just make some little tabs for myself. So you'll see those probably a little bit more in my upcoming month. I used a lot of uh, lined pages. So some of these are just pages that I've decorated getting ready for my April book. I want to pray more. I got a slot for photos. I got a slot for journals. Now this little thing here, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. But if anybody has any idea what you use, these little 15 line bullet <laughs> type of templates for in your journal tracker whatever I don't know but yeah this is my journaling experience so I have enjoyed this experience so very much this has really been a good therapeutic tool for me and a huge part of my self-care as you can see my journal is highly into adding scriptures adding prayers adding thoughts so it's very much a spiritual journey and journal now, one thing I will say that when I first created this journal, I used that Trader's Ruin book and I actually kind of contemplated, did I want to change this cover out? Because this is, again, a lot of devotional and prayer and it really just doesn't fit the theme of that novel. But when I kind of think about it, sometimes our thoughts can kind of ruin, uh, we can ruin ourselves with our own negative thoughts. Overall, this journaling experience has been a successful one. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates on my journaling experience. As always, be blessed.